What's the deal, YouTube? I'm back with another banger reaction video again. You know, John ja Morant went crazy in his home win to start the season. And if we all know, we all know John ja Morant is my favorite basketball player. You know what I mean? Because once I seen John ja Morant, I seen it. I seen me and John ja Morant. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm supposed to be in the NBA. Come check me out, y'all. You know, come check me out. You know what I mean? I might have to do a little uh, vlog video on me running one-on-ones against people and, you know, just them basketball type of, you know, vibes and shit on the uh, vlogs. You know, I might need to start doing that so I can show y'all how much I'm a, I'm like a John Morant type of player, you know what I mean? But just with a better shot, you know, better shot. I got the left hand, you know, I'm a lefty, you know what I mean? But Ja got more bounce, you know what I mean? I'm more finesse a little bit, more finesse with mine. Ja more attack, like, but which I would have got, but due to my, um, you know, Things we're not going to speak on, you know, due to a lot of other things, though. But we're going to get right into this video and watch Ja go stupid. Nobly the rookie out of USC. Here's Morant going strong to the rack. Took the hit and finished anyway. But we're marking it. But two guys that can still help this team win basketball games. Oh, look at this jump ball play to Morant. Oh, that is so well done. Knew that he was going to be a big physical bruiser from day one. He took nothing off of anybody. Moran exploding to the rack. Transferring from one big to another. I thought it was great with a oh, nice cut. Oh, wow. Grizzlies were so good on baseline out of bounds. J.B. Bickerstaff coaching here in Memphis. There's Ja right down the lane. Well, their pick and roll defense tonight has been carved up by Ja Moran. To draw within nine after trailing by 16. He just won't go away. Morant against Markin and scoops and scores. Big make by Bain. Gives him the goose neck. Got to get back. Markin and going low. Look at this. That's amazing. With the left hand, again, making sure. Look at this. Top of the box. Had to avoid the backboard. Morant against Sexton. Six to shoot. Wrap around. Adams for the dunk. Just relentless off the dribble is Morant. Mobley, oh, smothered by Jaron. Loose ball picked up by the Grizzlies. Melton. Lob. Oh, oh, baby! Goodness. I thought Melton had thrown this and no way he could get it. Morant again catches it behind. Watch this. He's behind him. He catches it, partner. Throws it down. Oh, full extension by Morant. Timeout Cavaliers. I know y'all. I see this right here, bro. Got a screen. Sets up Anderson. His three is through. He seems to be one of those players that as his career goes on, he'll take on more of a load. Morant here gets all the way to the rim. A little bit of everything. And as he gets older, they'll be able to maximize more of those things. Morant on the runway. Takes it to the rack. Nice. Morant finding an opening in the lane. Going sideways, floating, finding the seam. But what he to five run. Morant probing dribble. Teardrop got the bounce. AB has decided to size down and match up with the Grizzlies, not stay with a big line. Morant, yes! Sexton, screen by Adams. Jaws leader hits in! Ice water in his veins! Hey. Check this out, bro. If this man becomes at least a shooter like Donovan Mitchell, I promise you, this is the best point guard in the game. Can't nobody stop this dude. I promise you. Can't nobody stop him. Nobody. I promise you. Nobody. All he need to do is add a Donovan Mitchell jump shot to his package. It's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. He is the man of the match tonight. 37 points, six feet, six boards, which means he gets to visit with Rob Fisher. John, ja, opening night's never going to be perfect, but offensively, you guys were really good tonight. What was going well for you? Uh, just, you know, our ability to just share the ball, you know, be unselfish. You know, I felt like we was able to get in the paint. And, you know, we got great shooters on this team to space the floor, so it opens up a lot for us on the floor. And uh, we made shots tonight. Um, still got, you know, some things to correct, but, you know, I think we'll be fine. I think the thing you got to be proud of, too, is every time they made a run and every time they inched closer, you guys were able to put a stop to it. Yes, sir. I was My main, you know, the thing I was telling our team, you, you got to win both, the pretty ones and the ugly ones. And I feel like tonight, you know, 
We got a lot of things we got to correct on the defensive end. You know, my dog here, man. Uh, we just got to correct on the defensive end, lock in more. You know, we missed some rotations, gave up some wide open threes, which we don't want. We want to contest everything. And, uh, you know, our, our defense just, you know, generate our offense. Uh, you feel when we got stops, we was able to go out on a, you know, 10-0 run and, you know, gain the lead back. After having a playoff experience last year, how'd your approach change this offseason coming into this year? Uh, I mean, experience, that's, you know, pretty much all I can say, you know. I, kind of feel like, you know, I know what it takes for us to, you know, get to that next level. My job is to continue to push us to get to that next level, push myself to continue to be better on the floor, be a better leader. And I'm, we got everybody we need, man. We just got to continue to grow with each other and uh, just go out and play. And, you know, big shout out to our fans. You know, I hate when, because I'm not going to, I'm low-key a Grizzly fan just because of him on the team. But, you know what I mean? I don't like when, I, that's just professional. You know, professionalism, whatever. You know, I'm trying to find a word, but y'all know what I mean. We don't got everything we need on this team. All we need is, like, one dude, though. Y'all need, like, one dude who could just create his shot. Like, I know we got Dylan Brooks, but I'd rather Dylan Brooks be, like, the, the third man. You know what I mean? Like, he not a second man. You know what I mean? We need that second dude, or Jock could actually go to second dude and we go get a other big-time star, like, you know. In the, like somebody at least like you know, like to me I was thinking they could get like Demar Derozan, like play a player like that in that caliber. You know what I mean? But I think we yeah, we gonna finish out. Later. Fans, you know, uh, packing the, the form tonight and you know giving us a lot of energy. We'll be talking about which one we liked better. How about you? The oop from DeAnthony, there uh, he is, or uh, the block shot at the end of the first half. <laughs> Uh, block, block shot because I'm focused on defense this year, man. <laughs> ja, congratulations on the win. Yes, sir. Thanks, appreciate man. it. Ja. Ja, not playing. There we have it, though, YouTube, man. I just reacted to the two best point guards to me, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Not really for real. That's not really my opinion, but I just, that's, that's who I got my likeness to. You know what I mean? Because they both on the teams that I mess with. Like, well, Ja, he's similar to me. And Curry, that's just my favorite team with the Warriors. So, you know what I mean? I give them the top two. But, you know, we're not going to speak on Dame and all the other people and all of that. You know what I mean? But, you know, one other video I might have to do is because of my homies been going back and back, back and forth, you know, like saying who better, like second-year players is out of LaMelo and Ant. You see me, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say – we gonna matter of fact we gonna wait we gonna wait on that talk do another video on them too, you know what I mean so make sure y'all like comment subscribe and we out y'all.